Okay, all the police have gone inside to check out the damage. There's plenty of that after our fight with Anubis and Set. Chakal, why did you go back to the museum alone without telling any of us? I was trying to keep Scarab away from the mummy named Chemus. Why do you care about this Chemus? Because he is my nephew. Your nephew? Your, Your nephew? nephew? Yes, my nephew. I had hoped that I could keep him from turning to evil. Wait a minute, hold on. If Chemus is your nephew, and that skunk in the scorpion suit is his father... That means the other mummies? My brother. Yes, it is. Arak. How can you bring that mummy spirit back without Set and Anubis? They're not here to speak the proper spell. Oh, Hecker, you're so ancient. Welcome to the modern world. Ah, so you're going to bring him back to life using chipmunks? I pushed the wrong button, so sue me. We call you from beyond the western gate. <sighs> what? What happened? Where am I? Kimas, my son, I bid you welcome back to the world of the living. Father, what magic is this? How heartwarming. Reunions are so touching. No one comes up behind me more than once. Kimas, let him go, now! Please forgive him, Scarab. He meant no harm. Oh, Scarab's going to hurt him so bad. My, aren't you feisty? That could come in handy. Handy for what? <clears throat> Son, say hello to Scarab, immortal lord of darkness, master of evil, and with our help, conqueror of the world. You've been asleep for 35 centuries, Chemus. I'm sure you have a few questions. Probably a few million. Which hacker here will try to answer? Now leave us. Arak and I have much planned. <clears throat> Father? Yes, son. Go. Oh, one more thing, Kimus. How did you phrase it? No one comes up behind me more than once. No one attacks me more than once. I will escort our prince home. The rest of you retire and restore your powers. That's okay, Jakal. We'll take him home. You rest. But... Armand is right. You're the one most in need of rest. Besides, Armand and I both want to get out for a while. I'm hungry. And I want to dance. You know, unwind. That's a telephone. You talk into it. Why? You talk to the person at the other end of the line. But the other end of the line is right here. Oh, never mind. You have very odd ways to spend your time here. Actually, we spend most of our time devising cunning schemes for world conquest and wreaking revenge on our enemies. <gasps> Except for Thursdays. That's our TV night. <laughs> Comets have fallen from the sky. The city's on fire. Oh, no. That's normal. Those are electric lights. I must go see it. You can't just go out there. You're a mummy. You're right. So tell me. Where does the old one keep his garments? <laughs> Snake Face said this would carry me like a horseless chariot. the wall. Oh, no. It's the cops. In a party dress? I don't think so. Hey, are you stealing those? Why, yes, we are. We have to stop those guys. They could hurt someone. 
someone. Find me another dead end alley. You got a plan? One shortcut coming up. Um, right turn. One busy alley. Way to go. To know. But they better not show their pasty faces again. My apologies for the accident. It will not happen again. You got that right. You freak. I told you. Th th this was an accident. Yeah. Well, you're about to have another one. Those goons are gonna mangle that guy who bumped into them. Not if we mangle them first. Somebody else who knows the right way to eat a burger. Wait, I know. We'll tie up Kimas and dangle him from the top of a very tall building. Jakar will try to save him. Then we attack and slaughter Jakar. You'd be willing to risk your own son just to get to Jakar. He's young. He'll get over it. Fine. Then the only other question is, can we trust Kimas not to take sides with Jakar? who can be so persuasive. You needn't worry, Scarab. Kimas will do as he is told. Sure. If you can find him. After he stuffed me in here, he took off. What? We must find your defiant spawn before he spoils everything. Scarab, I promise you, Kimas will be punished for his insolence. I shall search every street, every hovel, every... Silence! You're wasting your breath and my time. I can find Kimas myself. You can? Of course. Do you remember what I said about the modern world? What is that? A tracking device. It's receiving signals from the radio transmitter I've hidden on your son. Scarab, you're a genius. Why a rag? That's the most obvious thing you've said yet.
strength of Ron. Huh? With the strength of... It's not working. Uh, we've been away from our sarcophagi too long. Hey, your mummies? Me too. What? Check it out. What they said. Repeat, Repeat after, after me. me. With? With. The? The. Strength of Raw! Strength of Raw! It worked. Cool suit. Hey, you really are a mummy. Yes, he's a mummy. And I'm his daddy. I guess this means we have to call off tomorrow's picnic. Pretty picture. Here you stand, surrounded and powerless, moments away from extinction. Me? No. Them. Now step away, Chemus. Chemus? Hey, you're the mummy we tried to save at the museum. Who's we? Me, Nefertina, Rath, and Jakal. Did you say Jakal? Yeah. He's your uncle, right? Son, pay attention. I said step aside, boy. You did not say please. He's full of surprises, isn't he? Yeah. Now let's kick some time. Doing. He takes after his mother. She never liked you either. Chapter 8, Team 2, attack! We're cut off! Chemus, we need a door where that wall is. After you. No, after you. Get on the bike. It's a bug. Ugh, I hate bugs. No, he means a tracking device. That's how scared we were to find us. Not anymore. Blast. They must have found the bug again. Again? Does this happen a lot? Jacob, wake up! Nefertina and our mom are missing. They should have been back hours ago. Oh, I knew there was going to be trouble, but does anyone listen? No, I might as well be talking to a room full of shepties for all the wrath with the strength of Ra. Stop talking and start searching. Well, there's no need to get cranky. Get it. 
Why can't Kimas just come and stay with us in the place we don't talk about, Armon? Rat, wake up and smell the hummus. He saved us from Scarab. How did you say it, Armon? I nailed that weasel. That may well be, but he's still the son of the traitor, Arak. And also my nephew. Jakal. It's been a long time, Uncle. <sighs> Welcome to our new world, Kemus. Then it's settled. Which way is your home? I am sorry, Kemus, but for the moment I must agree with Wrath. What? I want to trust you, but as this group's leader, I must put my own feelings aside. You can't be serious. Jakal's always serious. Always. I will stay with you elsewhere until we are certain there is no further threat from Scarab in Iraq. Then we can welcome you into our home. I'm not afraid of Scarab or my father. And I don't need you as a nursemaid, Uncle. I can take care of myself. A beefy burger would taste good right now. Kemus, let me come with you. Try to understand. No. Why should he understand? I don't. You did the proper thing for all of us and for the safety of Prince Repsis. Perhaps. But must my duties always come first, even before my own family? Well, yes. Why is it my fault? Because he's your son, that's why. Because he's a rude, ungrateful, treacherous brat. You left out the extremely clever Kemus. How dare you return to... Ah, oh, calm down, old one. That was a performance back there. To convince Nefertina and Armand that I'm on their side. Those foolish mummies were this close to taking me straight to their secret base. Why should we believe you? I'm here, aren't I? Unarmed? I want to help you destroy Jakal. See? That's my boy! Allow me some time. Once I get Jakal and the others to really trust me, then we can destroy them. Young man, I like the way you think. <laughs> Must my duties always come first? I've given up so much for my pharaoh already. First my brother, then my family, my life. What would my own son have been like at Kemus' age? Would I have been a good role model for him? Or would he hate me for leaving to serve the prince? I have a second chance here with Kemus. I could make up for it all. I have a family again in him. Am I to give all that up for my prince? <sighs> when will my duty end?